If you've got a taste for terror, take Carrie to the prom. Hello, folks! Welcome back to Horror Channel Reviews. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the movie Carrie. If only they knew she had the power. Carrie, indeed. Wow, <laughs> one of my favorite scary movies of all time. Carrie, indeed. I'm reviewing it on uh, now as part of my Halloween um, marathon program, whatever you want to call it. And I'm so excited about it because Carrie is such a great horror movie. I really enjoyed it. And uh, I can't wait to talk about it. So before I move on to the movie itself, I would like to give you some background information about... Um, the director, the actors, and so on, as they usually do. So the film is actually based on uh, the Stephen King novel called Carrie 2. I happen to read it, so if you'd like me to review it in the future, please let me know in the comment section down below. I can also review the 2013 remake, uh, maybe uh, sometime soon. So yeah. Let me know if you'd like me to do that as well. So basically, Carrie is a 1976 uh, American super, supernatural horror film directed by Brian De Palma, according to Wikipedia, and uh, from a screenplay written by Lawrence D. Cohen, uh, adapted from Stephen King's 1974 epistolary novel of the same name, Epistolary. Uh, I think it's pronounced, uh, this way, but yeah, this is basically Carrie, the first adaptation of the book, uh, there've been a lot of, uh, there's been a lot of adaptations from, uh, for this novel, and I really enjoyed those, but this one is definitely, uh, my favorite, uh, of all of all of the ones I've watched, which is not that much since I only watched this one and the remake. And uh, yes, I have to to watch the others too since I'm a fan and everything. But yeah, the remake was good, but not as great as this horror movie from 1976. This classic, this iconic horror film that is usually watched uh, during uh, like during Halloween, I believe. Uh, it's, it's a good match for Halloween if you'd like to check it out. Uh, but basically, let's get on, let's get to the movie itself without further ado. So basically, what is this movie about? So it basically focuses on Carrie White, who's a 16-year-old uh, high school student. And she goes to school and basically she's getting picked on by girls, by other girls, all the girls in her class. And, uh... Yeah, she's having it pretty rough at school, and at home, her mother's uh, this religious fanatic, you know. She basically locks her up in a closet, and uh, she has to pray, and uh, she has to pray in a closet, I believe, and uh, she has to basically uh, read the Bible often. Uh, yeah, basically... It's pretty much like, uh, but again, I'm not trying to make it sound like, you know, it's bad, you know, praying and, and is very good and, uh, reading, uh, reading the Bible. If you're a Christian, that's, that's totally fine. But basically in this movie, it really, it really like aims to kind of, uh, sh depict this character, uh, who's a mother, Margaret White. As this religious fanatic, basically, she 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 has she's keeping Carrie on a tight leash. Basically, she doesn't want her to make friends, and uh, she doesn't obviously she she doesn't want her to go to a prom because it's bad according to her. Uh, she doesn't want her to wear this dress, uh, the dress that she bought for the prom. Yeah, so you you kind of get the picture, right? She's very she's a she she's a fanatic, basically, right? And uh, what happens is that Carrie is going to have a pretty rough time, pretty rough go at it. She doesn't have any friends, and basically everybody makes fun of her, calls her names, says things like she eats, you know, uh, something 
uh, basically, yeah, she's being very, she, she's being so, you know, she she's being so victimized and bullied that it's very relatable for a lot of you have for a lot of us actually who might have went through something similar and you know she's a very relatable character right and uh the only person that kind of uh you know takes a liking uh for her takes a liking to her is her gym teacher who's named uh Hold on a second, let me find her name. Uh, she has a funny last name. I don't know if it's here, probably. Um, maybe. I, I can't believe it. I mean, I, I knew, I I thought it was gonna be somewhere here. Doesn't matter, I, I will find her name later as I'm reading the, uh, the actor's names because for some reason I kind of forgot to do it at the beginning as I usually do, so I'll do it at the end. But yeah, basically, Carrie is going going to be very, very like she she's gonna be very kind of uh, sad, and uh, she doesn't know what to do. Uh, her, her her the people at her school are mean to her, and uh, th this teacher she says something I'll never forget. She basically was the only one who stood up for Carrie, and it's very you know nice and and beautiful, and to see. To see someone who basically is trying to help out the girl who's being bullied and nobody and uh, the girl nobody cares about, and she's like, "Has any one of you ever ever stopped thinking that Carrie has feelings?" You know, it really like it was really beautiful, right? It really hit home because you know it's not something that you get to hear often, and uh, and uh, occasions like that, and uh, whenever someone is trying to help uh bullied people b help bullied people it really it really gives you know brings that it really brings that warm feeling and uh to in in us and uh, it makes us really happy that something was done you know it makes us feel all warm inside that's what i'm trying to say uh but basically yeah carrie there's something about her that is kind of really Kind of the highlight of the movie. She's she basically has that gift, that supernatural ability, whatever you wanna call it. Basically, she can move things with her mind, right? I believe the term for that is telekinesis. Telekinesis. Yeah, basically she she has that gift of telekinesis. Uh and basically, yeah, she can move things with her mind when she's angry. Uh, at some point, she breaks a mirror at the beginning. The lights, at some point, she kind of, uh, the, the light bulb kind of explodes just like that. It's pretty scary, and you have some creepy kind of music in the background, kind of like the scene in Psycho, you know, uh, kind of like the Psycho music with the shower scene and everything. It's pretty, it's pretty creepy indeed. But basically, um... Uh, the whole movie is going to point to point out to the prom, which is basically the main thing about this movie. And the, the main the reason the main reason why this movie is being so remembered and enjoyed, it has to do with this prom scene. Right. So uh, basically, I didn't explain it, but basically, Chris, who is the main girl, uh, Chris Horgensen, who is being the bully, uh, the queen, like uh, the queen bee. The one who's kind of like uh, the one who's uh, in charge of the the other, like in charge of the the whole like school. Uh, the school girls are basically just following her around. She's basically the ringleader, and uh, she's gonna wanna get back at Carrie because at some point the girls are gonna get are gonna end up being punished because they did something really nasty. And uh, so basically, Chris is going to seek to, you know, uh, she's going to want to take revenge, get her, get her revenge for uh, what Chris, is, what Carrie put her through, even though it's not Carrie directly, but, you know, how bullies are, right? They need someone to blame and they need to take out, to take it out on them, right? Take out their anger and, and so on. So basically, she ends up getting, uh, she ends up losing her ticket to the prom, and uh, she's gonna be really angry about it. 
and basically she's gonna tell she's gonna ask help uh she's gonna ask her boyfriend um whose name is uh Billy Nolan to help her or something. They're going to play a trick on Carrie. And basically, this is what you're seeing on the right of the screen, uh, where, where Carrie is basically being drenched in blood, which is which is pig's blood. Basically, she's drenched in pig's blood because uh, Carrie, uh, the actually, uh, the mean girl, decided to basically, you know, kill a pig and uh you know his blood is being kept on a in, inside a bucket and uh when Carrie is being uh uh chosen to be queen of the prom elected queen of the prom she's basically gonna gonna pull that string and uh the blood is gonna spill onto Carrie on Carrie basically on her buddy yeah, that's pretty distasteful and disgusting. I mean, what kind of what kind of a, what kind of a person would do such a thing? I don't understand. It's really really, you know, disturbing. That girl needs medical help and fast and she needs to she really needs help because she's not normal for doing something like that. But basically I'm not spoiling anything because this is kind of well known, so I apologize for that, but I had to say it, but it's well known really. But basically this is when all hell is gonna break loose, as scary is gonna basically go uh go like I don't wanna say go crazy, but kind of yeah, she's kind of like she's gonna go she's gonna go very angry and uh all the the uh, the people at the prom are going to end up, you know, having to face her anger. And uh, what's going to ensue is going to be pretty bloody and pretty scary. And I'd like to say that up until that point, it wasn't really a scary movie. It was more like a supernatural kind of movie. But because of that scene alone, but because of that scene alone, it is it is remembered as a scary movie. And basically, one thing is going to lead to another, and then you're going to have the end, the final twist, which was pretty great and scary. Nice jump scare towards the end. So this is basically it for Carrie. Yeah, she's going to go up the rail at some point because, you know, of, you know, she, of everything that's going to happen. And basically, her mother warned her at first. She, she told her uh, not to go to the prom. She told her that they're all going to be laughing at you. It's kind of what happens to some extent. Pretty much everybody is kind of shocked, but at the same time, they're laughing, they're making fun of her, and basically, this is when she unleashes the beast, right? So, Carrie, 1976, was a pretty awesome movie. Really enjoyed it. Everything is great. Uh, everything is kind of leading to the prom scene. That's kind of, it's kind of the main event of the movie. The main event. It's kind of all leading towards that. And, uh, yeah, that's basically it for Carrie. I apologize at the beginning. Yeah, when I said that, that the woman was a fanatic, I didn't mean anything by that, of course. Like, you know, Christians, you know, would read the Bible and so on. And uh, that's totally good. And people pray, and they would pray, just like other religious circles would. But my point is, in this movie, Carrie, uh, Carrie's mother, Margaret, is insane right she basically yeah she she's uh she's a fanatic she doesn't let her she, she yeah she she's kind of like her the upbringing carrie is having at the hands of her mother at the hands of her mother is very disturbing and concerning and uh she shouldn't be doing that because she she's being she's being mean to carrie and she's being abusive too she drags her down uh, the, the, the whole way. So it has nothing to do with religion, really. It's uh, any religion, you know, can be misused. So I don't want anybody to start thinking that this is the way uh, religions are. It is not. It is not. All religions can be used in a bad way, just like anything can be used in, in the wrong way. And uh, if you're a Christian, it's totally, it's, it's, it's totally good and and fine, it's just in this movie, it, it's meant to really kind of, I think that King wanted to basically, yeah, he wanted to criticize, you know, this kind of fanatical upbringing that people get, 
And it's not necessarily a religious thing. Anybody can get abused for, you know, many multiple reasons. So it has nothing to do with that. So just, yeah, bear in mind that I meant nothing by that at, at the beginning. If it came out in, in any offensive way, forget about it. I, I didn't mean anything by that. I, just, I was just telling you about the movie and Margaret, the character. I'm criticizing her character. That's all I'm doing. But yeah, uh, thank you guys for, you know, understanding what I meant by that. But yeah, Carrie is a pretty awesome movie. I uh, really enjoyed it. Uh, maybe we should get to the actors' names before I forget. So basically, Sister Spacek is playing Carrie White. She's doing an awesome job. Piper Laurie is Margaret White. Amy Irving is Sue Snell. William Catt is Tommy Ross. John Travolta has Billy Nolan. I believe John Tra it was John Travolta's first big film, you know. Uh, then we have Nancy Allen as Chris Harginson. Betty Buckley as Miss Collins. P.J. Souls as Norma Watson. Uh, yeah, Norma Watson. Uh, Priscilla um, Pointer. Priscilla Pointer as Lenore Snell. Cindy, Sid, uh, Sidney Lasik as Mr. Fromm, S Stephen uh, Jai Rash as Principal Morton, as uh, Principal Morton, uh, Michael Talbot as Freddie, Michael Talbot as Freddie, um, Eddie McClurg as uh, Helen Shires. And what was the the gym teacher's names? Uh, the the name the gym teacher's name na the gym teacher's name. What was her name? I can't believe it. Where is she? I can't find her. That's really weird. Uh, usually she's right there, but uh, Bed Buckley. Yeah, Rita. Rita. It was Rita. 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 Right. Uh, yeah, Bed Buckley who played Rita D. Jordan. Right, Rita Dees Jordan, who's basically the the gym teacher. Yeah, yeah, right. Her name was Rita. Yeah, she was really a good character. One of my favorite characters after Carrie for standing up to her and so on. But yeah, this movie was pretty great, and it's a pretty faithful adaptation to the Stephen King's novel. Uh, this is actually after I watched this movie that I wanted to read the book, the novel, and the novel was pretty good. And it made really, it made sense that uh, it was a faithful adaptation to to this book, right? Sissy Spacek, definitely underrated actress. Uh, she did pretty awesome. She did an awesome job as Carrie, the main character. She had that awkward look, you know, most of the time in the movie. I really liked that. And she felt really, like, socially awkward. So she really got that down pat, right? Yeah, uh, that was great. Uh, yeah, she she did an awesome job. She did an awesome job. And uh, it's kind of sad because you feel for her. She's definitely a relatable character. And you'd like to just get inside the TV, right, and, and help her. At least that's how I felt because being bullied is not a joke. And I really would want to help if I could. But, yeah, you're basically just watching and... You're just watching and you see events kind of unraveling as the movie goes on. But it's a pretty good movie. It's a pretty awesome movie. Uh, so if I were to rate this movie on a scale of 1 to 10, I think I'd, gi I'd give it um, maybe... I think I would give it 9 out of 10 because it's a really great scary movie. It takes place during the prom, but you can watch it during Halloween because I believe it's a good Halloween fit. It's a good Halloween movie. It's a good hell. It's a good movie to be watched during. It's a good movie. It's a good movie to be watched during the Halloween time. Yeah, during the Halloween time, you can watch these kinds of movies, Stephen King's novels, and I'll be reviewing more Stephen King's novel. Uh, did I just say Stephen King's novel? I meant Stephen King's movies, right? Uh, but yeah, I'd be reviewing some more Stephen King's uh, works in the future, novels and otherwise, movies and so on. So yeah, let me know in the comment section down below. As, as This is all for my review for Carrie 1976 uh, by Brian De Palma. 
Uh, basically, let me know in the comment section down below what you thought about Carrie. Did you like it? Do you hate it? If you read the novel, do you think it's a faithful adaptation to the novel? Is it a good adaptation uh, overall? Is it good? Is it bad? Did you prefer the novel? Did you prefer the movie? Please let me know in the comment section down below and let's have a, a chat about this movie. And uh, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. I'll see you in the next review for another scary movie, uh, for another Halloween-themed scary movie. In the meantime, folks, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Take care. This whole channel reviews for you. <clears throat> this whole channel reviews for you. Signing off.